Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to explain an American adventure thriller film called Rim of the World, spoilers ahead. Take care and watch out. An extraterrestrial ship is shown descending quickly at the beginning of the film. A half-destroyed Earth spaceship was seen floating in space. She attempted to deliver particular codes and information from that damaged spaceship to Earth while an astronaut, but she was unable to accomplish so due to technical difficulties. She has been instructed to deliver the codes and information to Earth. As a result, the astronaut wears a key gadget around her neck and removes it from orbit. Meanwhile, the spaceship appears to have stopped working. While an astronaut was attacked by aliens. The scene of Earth is then revealed. A boy named Alex who was an exceptional child was being observed. He was an introvert with no friends. He was enthusiastic about working on space technologies. Alex's mother arrives at the same moment and informs him that he will be attending summer camp in Rim of the World. Because Alex's mother hoped that by going there, he would become more social. And he might have made some friends. And it knew of Alex's father, who had rescued his family by burning into a fire. Following that, he kept his father's watch in his hands. Later, a Chinese girl named Zhen Zhen was exhibited. At the airport, immigration agents questioned her about her guardians. Because her accompanying guardian was not the same as her. This man lies to the cops, saying, this girl is my niece. Those police were able to release them in this manner. And after leaving the airport, Zhen Zhen was paying that man the money he earned from his acting. It indicates she paid him to be her guardian for a period of time. She was, in fact, traveling to the rim of the world. Then Daryush, an aristocratic child, appears. He's boisterous and mischievous. He was also saying his goodbyes to his parents before departing for the rim of the world. The first three children are now in the rim of the world summer camp. Alex approaches Zhen Zhen and tries to communicate with her. Zhen Zhen, on the other hand, continues forward while ignoring him. After that, Alex's mother left him here. She welcomes Alex and loves him more than the other children. As a result, everyone thought he was a retarded child. As she arrives at summer camp, the activities begin. Where Alex was attempting to complete the first task. In this task, he must move from one side to the other while hanging. However, Alex was afraid of heights. His instructors make every effort to help him understand and relax. But Alex was so terrified that he returned. Later, he was quite embarrassed. He was neither presenting himself to the children nor playing with them. However, he was attempting to isolate himself in this camp. And when going across the bridge in the evening, he runs into Zhen Zhen. They all stand on the bridge together, but no one speaks to each other. The next morning, the summer camp staff gathers all of the children in one location. They were also attempting to guide the children in some way. But Zhen Zhen was having none of it. So she travels far, abandoning them all. And Alex follows her quietly, having noticed her departure. Finally, Zhen Zhen arrived at the place depicted on the summer camp poster. She was ecstatic because her aspirations had come true. Alex stood back from Zhen Zhen in this scene. Suddenly, Daryush appears there, about whom it had previously been said that he was a talkative and bulky boy. Daryush wished to assist Alex. He wished to befriend Alex, and he claimed to be fearless. Daryush makes the scenario more dramatic by holding Alex and shoving him off the edge. Alex was terrified of what was about to happen. He was terrifying because he was about to die. But Daryush didn't hear a word he said. Then another kid named Gabriel shows up. However, Daryush became enraged by his meddling and began to demonstrate his martial skills. However, Daryush does not profit from his combat abilities. But Gabriel throws him down while simultaneously hitting him, and he assists Alex. At first glance, Alex, Zhen Zhen, Daryush, and Gabriel appeared to be gathered together. As they were about to converse with one another, there was an explosion. And it is here that they receive an ominous message. Those kids were told they needed to get out of here as quickly as possible. With this message, they should not proceed if an alien ship lands near them. They then proceeded to the lake, where their summer camp group was already present. When they arrived, they discovered that everyone had already left. They were then watching a weird light or a sky explosion. As they first gaze at the airplane, the light now travels by them in the form of the aircraft. Those children were undoubtedly perplexed by all of these events, but they did not lose their courage. They were trying to save their own lives. 
And Gabriel said, They will not be saved in a spacious place, therefore they should go to summer camp in the rim of the world. When they arrived at the camps, they discovered that there was one more man who was now unconscious, and that all of the campers had left except for him, leaving him there. Gabriel and the other children were attempting to make a telephone contact from a different location. Alex informs them that due to the explosion at this location, all electronic devices had been turned off. As they stepped outdoors, they were met with an unexpected scene. Outside, there was a battle between humans and aliens. While all of those kids were attempting to flee, a human spaceship suddenly crashes in front of them. It was the same spaceship that appeared in space at the start of the film, from which an astronaut had emerged in the worst possible condition. She was about to die, but she gives Alex a key before she passes away. That crucial device contained something. Before dying, the astronaut told all of the children that this key would have to be transferred to Dr. Fielding at NASA's JPL facility. The position of the JPL facility was still being relayed by the astronaut. Then a massive extraterrestrial appears from behind them. All of those children flee, saving themselves. However, the astronaut had been unable to flee. And that extraterrestrial had slain the astronaut by poking her in the mouth with its finger. After killing her, the alien had given birth to a baby alien. On the other hand, those kids who had reached a building while running are visible. Like them, that infant extraterrestrial was chasing those kids. That extraterrestrial was now in front of them, ready to kill them. But they get away from Zhen Zhen's plan trap with the tiny alien. However, that gigantic alien has assaulted them as they exit the building. To save themselves, Alex and Zhen Zhen hide in the toilet. Gabriel and Daryush were hidden in a different location. When an alien arrives, he kills a man who is standing in the toilet. Now Gabriel, Daryush, and the extraterrestrial came face to face. They immediately moved to that spaceship in order to escape the alien that had emerged from the spaceship, and they locked themselves inside. Alex and Zhen Zhen emerged from the spaceship after that. They were attempting to flee the alien but were unable to do so. Meanwhile, Gabriel activates the ignition switch, resulting in the death of the newborn alien due to fire. However, upon the death of baby alien, mother alien had caught all four of them. That bizarre four-handed extraterrestrial was poised to kill all four children at the same time. Fortunately, a plane approaches and rescues them. That was the last of that creature. For the time being, that extraterrestrial had met its end. Because of those boys' folly, they were now all four captured. Zhen Zhen talks for the first time on the journey, slapping all three boys. And she continues, we have a mission that we must finish. How will we complete our mission if we keep pursuing these aliens? First and foremost, she claims that this important equipment will be required to transmit JPL facility. And those three boys had been taken aback by her abrupt speech. They were now going to follow Zhen Zhen. She tells everyone to take their bicycles from the camp. However, Alex informs her that he is unable to pedal a bicycle. He had, however, learned to ride a bicycle with the help of his buddies. However, he risks an accident as a result of losing control and reaching a safe distance. And he collapses somewhere else, where all of his friends have gathered to save him. And they had seen an urban area while rescuing him. They were astounded when they saw it. The city has been completely destroyed. That mother alien was being presented on the other side. Who had died as a result of the human plane's crash. It was discovered that the extraterrestrial was alive but not in the senses. It was reviving as bullets were removed from its body. The children who had arrived at a police station in the city were now being presented. However, there was no police officer present save for a criminal. Who was incarcerated. He was pleading with these children to release him right away. However, Daryush advises that we should not set him free. When Zhen Zhen hears this, she screams. As his son awaits his release from prison, that man says. She then chooses to let him go. She was well aware that a child cannot survive without his parents. Following that, the children began their journey to the JPL facility. Then they come across a military unit in the city that is about to leave. Alex provides the leader the key gadget so he can take it to the JPL facility. Commander took the device and forced those kids to seat safely in a school bus. Meanwhile, an alien ship strikes the commander with a school bus that appears on the scene. Commander was now also in a position where he could die at any moment. It stated that he would be unable to transport this equipment to the JPL facility. As a result, the commander returns the key to Alex. While leaving, 
Zhen Zhen takes the commander's radio walkie-talkie. They were all trying to find a way into the facility. Then Gabriel notices that he has arrived at the identical location from which he started. His residence was a short distance away, and he invited all of his buddies over. As a result, they can relax safely there. Gabriel came to the house and told everyone his story. He claims to have joined the camp after breaking free from a prison. Because he has trouble remembering numbers. And because of his mistake where he used to surf, the workshop's work was ruined. As a result of the business owner's misunderstanding, he was sent to prison. His mother had also been fired from her work due to his incarceration. After hearing his narrative, everyone relaxes him. Later, all four youngsters took a selfie. When they were sleeping in Gabriel's house at night, they all heard a noise. They are terrified when they wake up. They see the same man who had been released by them as they walk outdoors. That man had approached them with the intent of stealing the key device. As a result, he may be able to sell that essential item for a large sum of money. Alex, on the other hand, refuses to hand over the key device. That man had attempted to grasp the key before a gigantic alien appeared behind them. Which, while attacking that evil man, kills him. When that alien was killing other evil people, Gabriel quickly set up a trap in his backyard swimming pool. And he makes it difficult for the alien ensnared in the swimming pool trap to escape. The next morning, those kids were being watched from a distance. It's the same extraterrestrial who was shot down near camp by human aircraft, where Alex was informing everyone. He says, it's apparent that Alien has the ability to resurrect. Who had ordered the extraterrestrial to pursue him. They argue over it, but afterwards they dodge it. Here, Daryush relates his tragic tale. He claims that he is not as affluent as he appears to be. His father, in fact, has declared bankruptcy. They embrace each other knowing this. They forgive one another. Their radio communication suddenly decodes some data. Zhen Zhen deduces from this that Dr. Fielding, to whom they must deliver this vital item, is nearby. They change their clothes and go to the mall. And Zhen Zhen is the story of her life. It was because she had abandoned her parents. Because her parents were indifferent to her. All the youngsters were going to be upset after hearing her. But she shifts the conversation to something more pleasant. Gabriel, Daryush, and Alex are members of her new family. Coming out of the mall, they steal a car. Zhen Zhen was driving it to the JPL facility. However, the identical extraterrestrial had swiftly assaulted the same car. They had rescued themselves from a place from which they had arrived. They were attempting to get the extraterrestrial out of their vehicle in some way. But that extraterrestrial refused to leave the vehicle. As a result, those kids decide to leap from the car. They also throw the car off a bridge. That alien had also fallen off the bridge as a result of this. Because of a fallen car, that alien was imprisoned there. So now all of the children had saved. Alex informs us that he has forgotten the key in the car. Knowing this, everyone recognized that they were in serious trouble. So Daryush plans on grabbing the key device and heading towards the car. He was also successful in accomplishing it. That extraterrestrial, though, had assaulted him there. He had not, however, given up hope. Finally, they arrived at JPL facility with all of their comrades. More than half of it had been destroyed. When they enter the facility, they notice that Dr. Fielding is no longer there. They are now in communication with a military general. Who was it that was showing them the full picture of the war? And they were saying, no one can halt the world's destruction now. And, because to Alex's excellent speech, he agreed that with their support, he could protect the world. General tells Alex that his possessed key gadget has codes that will allow them to destroy the alien mothership. There's only one way to ruin it. They'd all accepted the task to save the world now. Alex, who already had a strong interest in space technology, now had to put his knowledge to the test. He devises a brilliant strategy. He says to Zhen Zhen first, handing up his watch, according to this plan. Turn on the backup generator now. He also goes upside down to fix the communication gadget. In some way, Zhen Zhen had turned on the generator at that location. While Gabriel was tinkering with the facility's key. Outside, Alex, who had fixed the communication system, was seen climbing to the top and faces anxiety. But the extraterrestrial had tracked him down. He escapes the extraterrestrial by moving to another building and relying on a cable for support. To switch on the system, Gabriel in the building needed a password. It is well known that he has always struggled with memorizing numbers. 
so he had the most difficult time. If he presses even one erroneous number by accident, this world may face grave consequences. Daryush, who is already near death, assists him. Before dying, he writes a password for that key device on a piece of paper using his blood to activate it. In the meantime, Zhen Zhen had arrived. They had successfully activated the system. They had also activated a weapon here with enough lasers to destroy the mothership. After that, the world might be safe. Outside, on the other hand, Alex could be seen. Who was going to be the alien's next victim? However, Alex kills the alien by dragging it into an engine compartment and starting the exhaust engine. Now that Zhen Zhen and Gabriel were inside the building, they launched a laser attack on the mothership. They had also exited the structure. They had finally rescued Earth after smashing that mother alien ship. They were later celebrating their triumph. Alex had visited with his mother once more. In the final scene, we see that the entire world regards all four of them as champions. After showing this, the movie comes to a close and the film concludes here. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.